Hey everyone, here's a question on exercise 11.3, 12th question. And the question is, the circumference of a circle is 31.4 cm. Find the radius and the area of the circle. Take pi is equal to 3.14. So they have given the circumference of circle, which is 31.4 cm. We have to find out the radius and we have to find out the area. So only one thing is given, that is circumference of circle. So let's see how to solve this. So we're going to write down what is given in the question. So they have given the circumference and circumference is denoted by capital C. So C is equal to 31.4 centimeter. Now first we have to find out the radius. So using the radius, we're going to find out the area of the circle. Now since we know only one thing that is circumference of circle, we're going to use a formula. So we know that circumference of circle, that is C is equal to 2 pi r. So 2 pi r r will be equal to 31.4. Now, we're going to take the pi value as 3.14. Let's substitute this. So, 2 into pi value is 3.14 multiplied by radius we have to find out and this is equal to 31.4. Now, we're going to transpose the numbers to other side. Now, since 2 and 3.14, they are in multiplication. When we transpose this to the other side, it comes in division. So from here, we're going to write down r is equal to, in the numerator, we're going to have a 31.4 divided by this 2 into 3.14. Now here we're going to do the cancellation. How? So you can see that we have a decimal point in the numerator and denominator, decimal number. And we're going to write, uh, rewrite this as I am going to remove decimal from the numerator, the number from the numerator. Now since there is only one number after decimal point, I have, I'll get 10 in the denominator. This is a one way we will do it, the easiest way. I am not explaining how we got 10 here. I hope you might have learned this in your previous classes, how we are re removing the decimal and how we get the 10. Now in the denominator, here I have a decimal point and after decimal I have a two numbers that is 1 and 4. So I will get 100 in the numerator. So remove the decimal, we will get here 100 in the numerator. It depends upon how many numbers are there after decimal point, that many zeros we will get. Now we are going to cancel the number. You can see we have a 314 in the numerator and denominator, they will get cancelled. We can cancel. 10 and 100, 10 ones are and 10 tens are 100, and then 2 ones are and then 2 fives are 10. So, therefore, from here we got a radius is equal to 5 centimeter. Now, using this radius, we're going to find out the area. So, area of circle is pi r square, and pi value they have given is 3.14 multiplied by 5 square. 5 square means we have to multiply 5 2 times that is 5 into 5 which is 25. So 3.14 multiplied by 25. So when you multiply this 2 number we will get here 78.5 centimeter square. I am not multiplying the numbers. I hope you know how to multiply the numbers. When you multiply this 2 we will get 78.5 centimeter square. So we're gonna, we found the radius and the area using the circumference of circle. I hope this question is clear. In case you have a further question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.